Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My country, 96.1, rainy, windy, 50-mile-an-hour winds possible, heavy soaking rain. Mm. Yeah, it's one of those days. We'll be a lot better tomorrow, Candy. A lot yes, better. Yes, we will. Yes, we, and every, you know, I don't mind a very rainy day every now and then. I sort of enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, maybe not with the wind and the soaking, you know? I could deal without that. It's tough with three dogs, taking three dogs it out. It is. I don't have any dogs to take out, yeah. so I'm good. I'm good to just look out the window. All right, I want to run through a bunch of stuff. Here's some uh, some coronavirus stuff. First, we know Governor Cuomo says the curve is flattening, but, of course, it's a bad flattening. I mean, there's a lot of people dying, Candy. So stay the course, stay home. That's the biggest thing you need to know. You understand that, right? I do understand it, yes. Okay, just making sure. I want to make sure everybody understands that. It annoys that. me, but I understand it. Yes, I see. This is not good for people's, uh, you oh, know. Uh, this is fantastic. Stay home. Thank you. I'll tell you about that chicken a la king I made last night. When was the last oh. time you had chicken a la king? There goes my topics. Go ahead. Tell me about your chicken no, no, a la king. No, go ahead. Tell me about your no, topics. I want to hear about your chicken a la king. I don't Do know. Do you remember that as a child? Because that I know was one of my childhood things. I know the name. I don't know what goes into chicken a la king. Please tell us. It's sort of like a creamy chicken with vegetables. You put it on toast. Anyway, it was phenomenal. Brian said the best thing I ever made. He, he had two full plates of it. Thank you. So it's like a spread? It No, it's like a creamy, like, stew. Chicken with vegetables, and it's really good. Pimentos are in there. Anyway, hey, on to and your topics. No, anything that makes you think about childhood, I think, is good right now. Candy. Yeah, yeah, we were both really reminiscing because we used to eat this as kids. Well, I have a food story then. Uh, you do? Got a call from uh, Cora, my sister-in-law, uh. and she made a plate of manicotti, but my wife would hit me for saying manicotti. She says it's menagot candy. Menagot. Menagot. What's the matter with you? So I uh, went over there. We uh, we had the masks what? on. Me, hold on. Hold on. We didn't go there to eat. Me and Abigail drove over there. With your masks on. With the mask. We practiced social distancing. I had a couple packages for her. I put them down. She put hers down, and then we, you know, I, we exchanged. Um, I got the plate of menagot. And uh, a couple other things uh, for the What did you drop off? Uh, Empty plates of other things she's given you? Empty egg cartons, Uh, a a mask we had made for her, and... I didn't get my mask from you, by the way, and I certainly could have used it this weekend. We have it. I have to mail it to you. I have to get out to the post office. Well, what are you going to mail it to me after the pandemic? Well, you can put it up on your wall like a little souvenir, (laughs) yeah. Uh, so we had the men of God together. We had the, oh, and, and some bagels. So we had, we uh, toasted some bagels. Said, and, yeah, oh, good, yes. And men of God. By the way, may I just say, uh, she is, you know, they got the bagel palace in Manorville. She is running around like a crazy woman delivering. They are doing incredible on the deliveries these days. I'm happy to hear that because it would sadden me to know that their business wasn't doing well because of this. Amazing. Any business that's... Do you know my son is a financial planner and he's having the busiest time right now. People are scrambling to get life insurance and all kinds of stuff. Agreed. Stock market, get in, get out. Yeah, absolutely. He he says he's been never been this busy. A couple more things before I leave you on some positive notes with some good news of what's going on in the world. I saw a trailer for a 10-part Michael Jordan and the Bulls documentary. Oh, and I'll be watching that. Candy, it's like so behind the scenes. It looks amazing. And I, oh I, I, I sent it to my father, the trailer, and I said, listen, we used to go to Nick games all the time. I've seen Jordan at the Garden a million times. I think I was there the night he put 50-something down on the Knicks. And I, you know, as much as I hated them, I can't wait to watch this because Michael Jordan was the greatest ball player I've ever seen in the NBA. And the Bulls were so extraordinary. Extraordinary. It starts next Sunday on ESPN. Excellent. It's a 10-parter. The other thing is Dana and I caught up on American Idol. Now, this is interesting. I have not watched really an ounce of American Idol, but there's a girl from Staten Island. Her name is Julie Gargano or Julia Gargano. Uh Uh-huh. She's amazing. She could win the whole thing. There's no doubt. She's got a shot. Um, All right. So it was good? There's some really good talent. And there's a girl, um, and, and 
if they listen, they're going to hate me for this. There's a girl from Bellport. She's blonde, and I forget her name. She got kicked off in the top 40. She she almost made the top 20. She was amazing. I couldn't believe they kicked her off. She was amazing. I saw some guy with no teeth that was auditioning, and then he got teeth. I'm a little confused. Oh, well, they Maybe did that. I'm on thinking of something else. The Tiger King. He he had uh, he oh, did a lot. Please, of, not him. He had no teeth. He did a lot of meth, and then I he got saw, teeth. Uh, I saw. Uh, all right, so here's some of the stories I want to do, uh, leave you with. An elderly yes. couple in Ohio were planning on a big wedding this spring. Instead, they had to do it on Zoom. He's 90, she's 85. That's adorable. Family and friends just live-streamed it. And how about oh. this? A 93-year-old woman in Pittsburgh went viral after she stood in a window with a sign that said, I need more beer. I saw that. I love her spunk. And I'm pretty sure she'll have all the beer she can handle now, right? Yes, I'm sure. She, you know what? I might try that today. I need more wine. Let's see how much wine I get. <laughs> no one's coming knocking. Nobody. <laughs> one last one for you, Candy. A 99-year-old World War II vet in England named Tom Moore recently broke his hip, and he's raising money for charity by walking back and forth on his patio. He does about 75 feet at a time and then sits and takes a break. He'll turn 100 later this month, Candy. That that is remarkable. And you know what it's all about? And from what I've read, get out of the bed. You don't feel good? Get up anyway. Sit in a chair. Move around. That's what people have said have, A, made them quicker to get better with the coronavirus. Yep. And, and generally in life. Don't move it or lose it. You know that saying. I like it. And you got to force yourself. Candy, very windy, very rainy. Uh, much better tomorrow. Check of the roads coming up next. My Country 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.